What's up, guys? My name is Grant Woods, and this is my brother. Easton, what's up, guys? I was watching Shark Tank with my family, and we decided to review this awesome product called Curl Mix. Easton, uh, he's got some great curls. Yeah, I love my hair. He's got a giant afro. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Feel the bottle, dude. It's like a little oily. That's how you know it's good when there's oil on it. Wow, so this is Curl Mix. They're kind of lacking the guys representing, but us guys, you know, we like the Curl yeah. Mix too. We got yes. the curls, we can do the do. What's up, dude? All right, this is my little nephew, Luciano. He also got curly hair too. Say what's up, guys, to the camera. Say, Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You see how he laughs? That's great. Laughter is awesome. All right, are you ready to get some Curl Mix? Yeah. He, wow, all right, look at that. He just straight up <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You can already see the difference. Wow, look at those curls. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's awesome. Oh, he smells it. See, he smells it. Watermelon? Yeah. See, he smells it. Dude, those curls are fresh, bro. Easton's curls, you can see right now, there's some little frizz going on here. Let's get that in there. Oh. I'm new. How's it looking, Mason? I'm new. How do you feel, buddy? Dude, we feel great. This product is it. awesome. I mean, we might even start using it. Let's go look at the mirror. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. All right, dude. This is crazy. This actually wow. just just makes my hair look so much like like real like way curlier, you know? Like yeah, I would definitely suggest, especially if you got curly hair, going back to school. You know, you want that new wardrobe too, but also that new hairdo. Yeah. Get some of that so that's curl all it is about, you know. I want the smell is what matters too. It smells and really good. Everyone was like. Oh, the watermelon, you know, so you don't have to buy cologne with this stuff. Mm -hmm. You just spray in your hair. <laughs> it's smells like watermelon. <laughs> yeah. And everybody likes watermelon. So, all right, Curl Mix is where it's at. Hello everyone and welcome to Wash and Go Wednesday. I'll be your host today, Tim Lewis, the COO and co-founder of Curl Mix, along with our stylist in chief, Miss Andra Renee. Shout out to the people. Hello. Hey y'all. Sorry, tell the people back. hello. Welcome back. And shout out to all my big fans here. Hey Lexus. Hey Yolanda. Hey Selene. I saw, let's see, I, I think I saw a few other folks. If you're in here, say where you're coming in from uh, let us know and then also if you this is your first time watching wash and go Wednesday let us know as well and then if you're watching it on replay go ahead and write replay as well in the comments but thank you guys so much for joining us we have a very special guest here tonight it is actually our little brother BJ who will be our model BJ, can you come show show the people your hair? They want to see it. So we normally feature a female model. This this is going to be a first for Watching a Wednesday. BJ is our first male model. So hello. BJ, say hello to the people. BJ is really cool because he works for Curl Mix number one. Um, he is Kim's blood little brother, um, and of course my little brother by marriage. But we love having him on the team, and we're excited to get started on your hair. So let's give him a 360, BJ. You gotta show them off. Show off. 360 and turn smile. around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is a happy place. We, yep. can't be and I don't know if you know that, but that is Kim. She is in the building here giving us directions. You wanna hey say hello to the people? I can't get too far. I'm feeding. The baby started fussing <laughs> right before we went live. So I am doing my motherly newborn duties. Alright, so maybe Kim will join us a little bit later. If we can get the baby. Uh, to settle down, but the whole family is in the house because Zuri is here with us as well So we're gonna go ahead and get started with BJ's wash and go, right? So go ahead and get started on your first phase Which is the shampoo phase and we start that with water every great wash and go starts with water and in the meantime please you all share the live because that's going to be the number one thing we're going to go to to see if you can win any of the hundreds of dollars of free prizes that we will be giving away tonight. 
And if you are a curl mixer, do not share in the group, okay? The, I, a bunch of people I went back and saw were sharing in our private Facebook group. That doesn't really count for you guys. It's our customer service is going to be checking. So make sure you share to your personal page. Thank you. All right. And there's a really cool thing that you also can do. A new feature um, that curl mix has, I'm sorry, that Facebook has is to start a watch party. So if you're part of any Facebook groups that you'd like to show, share curl mix with, or if you just want to watch curl mix with your friends and have your own little side conversation, go ahead and feel free to start a watch party. So right up there at the top of the comments, if you hit that start next to the watch party button, that would be really, really cool. Um, also, tonight we will be using our fragrance-free wash and go system. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And also, we'll be giving away our fragrance-free wash and go system all night long. So if you guys want to win this, let me see some hearts. All right, and then don't forget to share the live. And the other cool thing, you um, guys, also, we are going to be conducting a discount. It's every Wednesday, every Wash and Go Wednesday. We give a huge 20% off discount from the beginning of Wash and Go Wednesday to the end of the night. At midnight, we will be shutting it off. So, even if you don't win any of our giveaways tonight, you can be a winner by using that code in the description. It's WGWNOV. Six. That stands for Wash and Go Wednesday, November 6th. And that's we'll, that's how you can save 20% off your entire order from now until midnight. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shout out a few of my favorites in the comments. Hey, Jabrina. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Winifred. We got all the, all the fans here. Um, oh, I see Kahara. And let's see, I see a few other names. Nitsa. I haven't heard seen your name. And then Jeridania. And Pamela, thank you all for joining us tonight. Hello, Leah. She said BJ can do the shower. Uh, can BJ do the shower demo? Absolutely not. But <laughs> we, are, we have upgraded. We have upgraded. We're now in the salon. We got the studio the working, demo. right? So we want to make sure we take advantage of that. If we can, we're going to try to avoid the shower from now on. But if you are at home doing your wash and go, we always recommend that you do your wash and go in the shower so you can ensure that you're getting maximum hydration and water into your wash and goes. All right, let's see. Hey, Rachel, she said, hey, the whole family is in the house. Yes, it's a family affair here at Chromix. That's one of the cool things, I think, about Chromix is that we are a family-owned and operated company. Um, all of our first few hires were all family, cousins, uncles, sisters, brothers, everybody um, gets to get in on the fun here at Curl Mix, all right? And then also, oh, hey Marla, I see a few other cool names. Denise is here. I think I said Selene in the beginning, but I always like to say Selene's name. It just rolls off the tongue. So let's get to a giveaway. Hey, y'all. I missed y'all. How y'all doing? Oh, and look who it yes. is. Is he, sleep? is he up? No, he's sleeping. All right. All well, he do is burping. I'm glad that he's sleeping, though. He's <laughs> going to have a good time. Yes, we're grateful. All right. So we're going to start our very first giveaway. And all you have to oh, do to wife. win is share the live. So we're going to pull up that share list and pick a name at random. And it looks like Kim has... You got two winners? Two winners. Oh, my goodness. Two winners. She's giving away everything tonight. So, our very first winner tonight is Cam Moreland. Congratulations, Ooh, Cam Moreland. Congratulations. And then our second winner, shout out to one of my faves, Lexus C. Buckley. Now, I'm certain Lexus won in the past, but as long as it hasn't been over 30 days, you're golden, Lexus. Congratulations to our two winners. That's Cam Moreland and Lexus C. Buckley. You will be going home with your very own fragrance-free wash and go system which features organic sweet almond oil and it's of course fragrance-free for those who might have sensitive skin um, or any other ailments to make sure that, that or any other preferences really um, for not having any fragrances in their products. But the cool thing about our fragrance-free system is that it has a lot of hold. So a lot of people love it, particularly in the type 4 range. So congratulations to our first two winners. There are plenty of opportunities for you guys to win more Chromix as the night goes on. So let's check in. How are we doing on the moisture front? So we are wetting the hair. We're getting it ready to accept those products. And we're going to start cleansing it. 
But I already see you got the but the butters going. You <laughs> nice and wavy. It's looking really good and the slick, butters. shining in the light. <laughs> how, do you feel? How, how often have you had someone else do your hair, BJ? Never. This is the first time? First time. I feel like that's pretty common. Other than getting a haircut, almost no one touches, <laughs> a, typically touches a man's hair. So, what are you looking for now, Andre? So I know normally with our other folks, you look for weight. Mm -hmm. But I, I know BJ has a little bit of different things going on. First, mm -hmm. we've noticed right away, he does have a little bit of color mm -hmm. in his hair, which is still pretty normal, especially nowadays. Um, and then he also has a particular shape to his hair. Do those things kind of affect what you're doing in the early part of the wash and go, or how you're kind of going to navigate the rest of the process? Um, as of right now, no. Porosity is really only relevant to stylists um, when it comes to what we're going to do with chemicals. So how much or the rate at which your hair absorbs water or products um, and in turn chemicals is really relevant to the stylist. So in this case, it's not going to make much of a difference. I'm still looking to check how much uh, water the hair needs all over. Um, but I want to know if the curl mixers remember what is the foundation of every wash and go, the most important part. And I want to know if you remember, put that in the comments. And we'll see who gets it right. All right, yeah. So yeah, I know y'all know this. You have to know. But the, the most important part of any wash and go. All right, and then let's see. We got a few other folks in the comments that got a nice little conversation going. But Nita, she said, y'all, I've never won. She's been stealing from her family. Oh, my goodness, Nita. Don't forget, if you don't win tonight, you can still get you some curl mix. You can get it at a huge discount. Use that code in the description, or actually you can just click the link in the description, and it'll take you to a landing page where you can save 20% off your entire order from tonight uh, so now until midnight, and tonight only, using that code WGWNOV6. So we're starting with the shampoo because we already have done, uh, we've already added our moisture, we've got the hair nice and dripping wet, and it's now to now time to cleanse it, which is step one. So you guys, someone said let's get to 2K live tonight. I am for that. And you know how you do that? You have to start a watch party. So you can start one on your personal page, but start one in like a natural hair group or something. Um, I think that was one called natural hair. Try that one and he's so precious. He's tiny, tiny, tiny. He's almost a pound less than Zuri was, which is really tripping me out. But it's been a blast over this last week to have two, two children at the house. It's been a lot of fun. All right. So, congratulations to our last few winners, and then, uh, like Kim said, we're going to be looking for a couple different things from y'all. One, if you'd love to start a watch party, that would be great, but also share the live to be eligible for all of our giveaways tonight. All right. And so, how's it coming, BJ? Do you oh, wait. There's a comment. So, someone says, uh, them waves making me dizzy. <laughs> 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 that is so funny. I got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so everybody is answering your question. Uh, they said, Andre, so they've definitely on top of things. They said, water, 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 mm -hmm. moisture. Make sure you get that hair soaking wet. That's exactly what Andre has done. And um, BJ, how often do you do your hair on a weekly bit? On, oh, sorry. How often do you do your hair? Um, I do my hair at least, I want to say, two times at the minimum out of the week. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I come to work uh, and I want to make sure that I look nice when I go to work. So <laughs> even though I work at curl mix, so. <laughs> yeah. And so what's the what's your normal curl mix? So I know you use curl mix, right? You got the, the employee discount, for sure. <laughs> but what's your favorite curl mix to use? Um, my favorite. I want. I really actually I use all of the products, but my favorite. Fragrance will be berry, to be honest. Ah, vanilla berry. Same, exactly same with me. It is my favorite. I don't know, it's mostly the fragrance for me, but I do like the hold. As I started to do my own wash and goes lately, um, I like the hold that comes with the vanilla berry gel in particular. So Andre, how is it coming with his wash and goes? So um, BJ said that he comes to work, 
Um, he, I don't know how active he might be, but are there certain things in kind of his lifestyle, particularly if somebody who works in like a manufacturing facility, mm -hmm. they might have different hair needs from say someone who has like an office job. Sure. So what are some of the things you're looking for as you go through this cleansing process? Yeah, so um, I ask that question kind of as a consultation question before we get started because that lets me know what type of detox and or cleanse that we need to do. So in his case, um, he's coming here and given the um, structure of the building and the environment, it's, it can get dusty. Um, and there can be a lot of buildup just from the environment and things that he's doing, especially working with products and packaging and all those types of things. So then I'm just taking that into account to how many times I need to cleanse. But one of the things he mentioned before we went live was that he cleansed on, uh, I want to say it was the weekend. Is that right? Yeah, it's like Friday. Like Friday. And so it hasn't been that long. It hasn't even been a week yet. Um, and so I'm not actually going to shampoo twice. Um, I just made sure I got enough products in here. And one of the other things I'm noticing during this process as I'm feeling the hair is it, it's very reflective. So it's catching light. Um, that's that shine that you can see. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot more coarse, meaning it has a roughness to the feeling of it than it appears. Um, it might appear to be very, very silky, and there is some silkiness, but it's actually a lot rougher than it looks. So that's oh. just a note. No, that's really cool to notice. So, like I said, a lot of people were commenting on your ways, BJ. They was a little jealous, <laughs> right? So that's one of the one of the cool benefits um, of having like that nice wavy texture is that, as you can already see, BJ's hair is curling just from the shampoo phase. Now, normally. Uh, you might have to start the conditioning phase before you see that kind of definition, but you already got the curls popping, BJ. What's going on? You shutting them down over here. And I just want to come in here. So Tim said, "Nice wavy." All y'all hair is nice, okay? Even if it's not wavy. I'm talking about specifically the quality of his waves. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, but you know that qualified language mm -hmm. is always tough. So I try, I try not to, to be use very careful. judgments, you know, when we mm -hmm. describe people's hair because we want you to have a more positive relationship with your hair, no matter the texture. Okay? So all hair is nice. <laughs> Sorry, I was just in the back. I'm like trying to pop in, I'm popping out, I'm coming back. I'm, coming. Yeah, we, I'm trying to figure out how to start this watch party. That's what we I'm are doing. busy, busy <laughs> over here at Curling. So one of the next things we'd love to do is I want to get another giveaway started. Are you guys ready for another giveaway? It's funny, Kim. Every time you pop on the screen with the baby, the lights start flying by. <laughs> Uh, everybody is so interested to say, oh my god, I have missed the baby. <laughs> so, so, I love Kelly Watson. <laughs> Kelly Watson, I just said, OMG, it's a baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, just so you guys know, so we gave birth like about a week ago. It was actually Tuesday before Washington Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I came, I came, I did Washington Wednesday while Kim was still in the hospital. And I still had my band on and everything. But the only reason I'm up and walking around like this is because I actually ended up having like a natural birth. So... Um, non-medicated. I'm not saying my birth is better than anybody else's birth. That's not the case. My first one was a uh, scheduled cesarean. So, um, but because I had a natural birth that was like real, fairly, not like easy, but it was regular, right? Yeah. Um, so a lot I'm of healthy. people are, yeah, a lot of people are gonna, were asking, it was like, oh my God, Kim is here. She back on her feet. Like, aren't you, shouldn't you be at home? That is like, so funny. Like, she's fine. Kim I'm is totally strong. Fine. And the baby was strong. good. It's good. Everybody's healthy, so we're good. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to Andre so we can see how she's working out the way there. So yeah, I'm just doing what I do when we're rinsing out. We're not wanting to leave any of that shampoo in there. We want to get everything rinsed away because the wash and go builds. So the first step is to get that water in there and then to cleanse. And then the next step is going to be the condition, but we don't want to put shampoo on top of uh, build up and then conditioner on top of shampoo and then the styling gels on top of um, the conditioner so we want to make sure we rinse out each phase each step of the system thoroughly so um, there's another thing that I'm looking for in this process so one of the things that hydrated hair does um, after a while is it behaves in a, in a kind of a relationship with the water so I know that um, when you have dehydrated hair, a symptom of that is that it's kind of fighting the water. It won't receive it, it doesn't want to um, take the weight of it, um, and in turn it can be a little bit difficult to try to get the products in there on top of that. So that's why what we're getting ready to do next in our detangling and conditioning phase is so very important. 
All right, so I also want, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna start a giveaway, but we have another winner from our first giveaway because we did find out that one of those winners did win last week. So we're gonna go back to that first giveaway. <laughs> and our second winner of the evening is Kathy Tim Sure. Kathy Tim Sure, congratulations. You will be going home with your very own fragrance-free <laughs> wash and go system. Thank you so much for sharing, Kathy. All right, Kathy Tim Sure, you're our second winner. So in order to claim your prize, if you win any of our giveaways, all you have to do is take a screenshot of the end of this live and send it to us at info at chromix.com in order to claim your prize. Right, send it the screenshot of the end of this live to Daddy, info Daddy. at curlmix.com. <laughs> it's funny, Felicity before she said BJ trying to take Tim Shine. <laughs> like, see, I'm not the only one with nice, uh, with curly hair here. I'm not the only man energy here on Wash and Go Wednesday. We got a lot of things going on. But I want to get that second giveaway started. So for this second giveaway, we are going to be doing our world famous numbers giveaway. And so this cool thing about it is I had BJ pick this number and we wrote it down. So if you have any issues, blame BJ. All right. But all you have to do is pick a number one through 100. That's the number one through 100 and put it in a comment. All right. So the, there's only a couple ground rules. There's only one number per comment. Don't list out numbers. Don't put one through 20. Just one number per comment, all right? And that'll be your entry. And we're gonna pick the very first correct answer we see. Now, I remind you, you might see yours first, but we are gonna see a whole list of people's popping up. We're gonna go with the very first correct answer we see. So without further ado, go ahead and start guessing your numbers, one through 100, and I'm gonna get to some of the comments um, as, we, as Andre and BJ are moving on to step two, which is conditioning. All right. <laughs> Joy Ter Terrell, she said, Kim, you had that baby 72 hours ago. <laughs> Not exactly. It's been a little longer. It's almost a week. Over a week. <laughs> Felicity, she said, can I borrow Andre because I do not have that arm strength. <laughs> nah, you can't. But you may be able to set up an appointment. Don't forget to follow Andre on Instagram at Andre Renee. All right. And then uh, <laughs> Carol, she said, Kim, I love how Kim keeps popping in. You know Kim can't let this go. This is her baby too, right? So she loves to participate, loves to interact with you guys. Um, so she could not miss another Wash and Go Wednesday. It's so funny. She was going back and forth. Should I go? Should I stay at home? You know, what should I do? But at the, in the end, she's like, I got to be there for Wash and Go Wednesday. All right. Uh, let's see. Kelly, she said, wait till I tell my husband there was a male model thing. He's not going to believe it. Yes, believe it and show him the replay. One of the cool things about Wash and Go Wednesday is that after every Wash and Go Wednesday, the video is immediately available on our Facebook page. So if you miss it on any given week, you can always catch the replay. Just remember, when you're watching the replay, type in replay. Let us know uh, if you're seeing it live or if you're watching on the replay. All right, and it looks like we got the numbers coming in. So I'm going to keep track of it. Kim's going to keep track and the Curlmix customer service is going to keep track of well, as well. So we want to make sure that we do not miss your guesses. So as you are conditioning, we had a lot of people already saying that he, from that shampoo phase, mm -hmm. he started to get the definition. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't seem like he had a bunch of shed hairs. Mm -hmm. And that's probably because he did his hair just over the weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that you know, it hasn't been a, a few days. Sorry, it's been less than a week. What are some of the things that might happen um, as you go through and detangle now. Yeah, with it being less than a week, it shouldn't have that many tangles in it. And so honestly, I should be able to get through this fairly quickly, as opposed to if you do your hair maybe once every 10 days, or if you wait even longer, depending on what your lifestyle allows. So in this case, I am getting through fairly easy. Um, and that's great, um, because detangling is not something you want to have to take all day long. Another thing I want to mention is um, what, hold on, I lost my train of thought. Give me a second. I can give you a second because someone has a question for you, BJ. They want to know when was your last trim? When was the last time? Yeah, so basically a trim is when you get just the ends cut or if you've like shortened it at all. When was the last time you got a trim? You mean like 
I, I actually I have never gotten a trim. Never? Never so gotten a trim. So you haircut. I'm saying this I was I thought the top of my hair. I got a haircut. Okay. I actually got a haircut this morning. So, okay. okay. To prepare. So they so they didn't take anything off the top? I never get none of I never get any of my hair cut off the top. So how long have you been growing your hair out? I want to say about a year. I usually cut it in the summertime when it gets hot, but I really wanted to see how long it would look and how beautiful it would look if I grew it out longer. So that's awesome. What they what encourage you to grow your hair out? The fact is that uh, what really encouraged me to grow my hair out was that I don't see a lot of uh, males these days with long hair, and usually they have a problem with that because you know they tend to think other things when they see men with long hair, but. As long as you love what you have and you don't have a problem with it, then it shouldn't matter to anyone else. And that was my way of interpreting it. So basically, I just did it because I thought it would look nice. Look at that, BJ. Giving the, giving the men an <laughs> encouragement. Guys can rock their curls too. I'm inspired. I'm going to get that length one day. <laughs> Although, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I got a little trim this weekend thinking I'm going to cut off my damaged ends. And they went way too low on one side. So I was a little hurt. I'll be honest with you, you can't trust all of those barbers to cut curly hair. But <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you all for um, all the love you're giving to BJ. And then it also looks like we're getting, I think we have a winner or we're getting close. Do we have a winner? Oh, dang. So I was not oh, you weren't looking? Okay, I thought, Kim, I I thought, Kim, I thought Kim was coming over no. to give me the uh, winner. Customer service, if you are watching, can you please help us find our winner? I was trying to set up the watch party. I'm sorry. And I got two kids now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you don't, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, be, I'm sorry. Um, Azuri is back to giving Kim a conniption. So, but we're having a great time here at Curl Mix, and it looks like, I think we have a winner. I think I saw the number pop up, but I just want to make sure that it was the first number. All right? So, you guys, keep posting your numbers. There still might be a chance, um, and then we'll check in with Andra. So, as we're finishing that kind of detangling phase, the conditioning phase, um, and you're rinsing things out, mm -hmm. what, do, what do you suggest people do at home if they feel like, they either haven't used enough product or maybe used too much product in that conditioning phase. Yeah, so um, one of the things that you saw me do earlier um, was go back and add water after I added products because sometimes we don't need more products. Sometimes we need more water. And that water allows us to distribute that product where we need it to go. And you could see actually from the visual that it was kind of um, weighted on his hair. And so I needed to go ahead and get that to move. And that's why we add water in that process. Now, if you have too much product, it's no way around that. Um, if you need to take a little bit of it out, squeeze a little bit of it out, that's fine. But it's kind of hard to have too much conditioner, um, meaning like you can't really overdo it. It's just no need to have extra once it's completely saturated and distributed. So yeah, just be mindful of how much you're using. Another thing here is um, getting this thoroughly rinsed out. Um, like we said at the beginning, we're going to get ready to put on step three and four of the system. And so we don't want to put that on top of conditioner. We want to put that on top of the hair. And everybody is loving your answer. They said, go ahead, BJ. That was a good <laughs> answer. Yeah, keep encouraging these men out here. Um, they need to love their hair just as much as you do. All right, that's awesome. Um, one of the, So Andre mentioned that you can always add more water instead of adding more products. And I just wanted to make sure we touched on that because that is probably the number one thing people ask. Is, it's, you know, I didn't get the definition that I wanted or my hair, I didn't get the kind of texture at the end, it might be too crunchy. And it's almost always related to water, right? So if you're making sure that at every phase, you have enough water to achieve the desired style, get the right texture, keep the right length, water, water, water is going to be the secret to getting the best results, all right? And so um, I think we have now, do we have a winner for our giveaway? I'm gonna fall asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that kind of comfortable, yeah, right? Exactly. It really is. All right. So what I'll do instead, looks like we're still waiting on the numbers giveaway answer. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to do another giveaway for those who shared the live, and then we'll come back to the numbers. All right. So my next winner for the for the share giveaway is Terry Wright. Congratulations to Terry Wright, thank you so much for sharing our Washington Wednesday Live.
It's already up over 200 people, which is huge. Um, and you are our next winner. So, Terry, in order to claim your fragrance-free wash and go system, all you have to do is take a screenshot of the end of this live and send it to us in an email to info at curlmix.com. That's info at curlmix.com to claim your prize. And remember, guys, even if you don't win one of our giveaways, everybody can be a winner tonight because you can use the code WGWNOV6. WGWNOV6 to claim 20% off your entire order on curlmix.com from now until midnight. And if you don't want to remember the code, just hit the link in the description and it will take you right to it. I'm back, y'all. I'm All hands right. free. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so Andre is working on the moisturizer, right? Yes. yes. All right, all right. You know, one of the, that's actually my favorite thing. So oftentimes, I'll do just like a moisturizer only wash and go. Not all, I don't use a gel all the time, especially if I know. I end up taking showers at night because I take a shower with Zuri. He gets dirty throughout the day. We take a shower at night because we don't want him going to bed smelling like outside or whatever. So we sometimes I'll end up with like a nighttime wash and go and then I'll end up sleeping on it. So I want to make sure that I'm not wasting all that de great definition I get from my flaxseed gel. So I'll just throw in a little bit of moisturizer um, and call it a night, right? But when I do my wash and goes in the morning, I'm almost always using the gel with it as well. Now, do you normally use the gel and moisturizer, BJ, or do you kind of switch it up? I use both because I have extremely, I have extremely dry scalp and very sensitive. And uh, the moisturizer really helps me keep the texture within my hair, and that's a really big problem that I usually have. That's really interesting. So how long? I would say, because I didn't really do much earlier in my life to take care of my hair. It was like, you wash your hair, shampoo, condition, um, and, you know, whenever you get in the shower, and then it was go to the barber shop um, every couple weeks or so. But what, what, what kind of shifted for you when you're like, okay, now I should probably be taking care of my hair? Was it before curl mix, after curl mix, or was it something separate? It was, uh, I want to say it was kind of, I mean, I, I want to say it's kind of before curl mix, because... I dye my hair a lot and I notice and I start to notice that it changed the texture of my hair and my hair started falling out and stuff like that and it was hard for me to comb and everything. So eventually I used the product once she started making it and I was like this works really good in my hair and it keeps it really moisturized. So and uh, it's funny cuz um on my way to work people usually like Oh my God, how did, how did you get your hair like that? Oh my God, what do we use? You getting the compliments on the street? And it's funny because- That's how you pick up girls. <laughs> disregard that. But um, <laughs> it's funny because I always have, I usually have a shirt on. So it's like, I just show them the shirt, like curl oh, mix. Yeah. That's <laughs> like our infomercial on the I know, right? <laughs> Great advertiser <laughs> out there in the streets, BJ. Uh, one of the cool things you guys might not know about BJ um, is that he has been helping us with curl mix since we were in the kitchen. Like we started making the curl mix products in our kitchen at home, and BJ was one of the very first people who ever helped us pump bottles. I don't know if you remember, but BJ, when he would come over, we would like we would label the bottles, we would pump them all in our dining room. Uh, we had boxes all over our house. It was crazy. But BJ has been here since day one. Uh, of the curl mix wash and go system. Do you remember those days, BJ? What was your experience like when, when Kim was like, I need your help with this idea that we were having? All right, so basically at first, I was I could not work for Kim. <laughs> at, That's honest. At first, I couldn't work for her because you know, my sister, she has a specific way of doing things. And if things are done that specific way, then she, she's gonna do it herself. <laughs> she's gonna stop you mid, mid whatever you're doing. But later on, I came back and she really needed help. And it was, it was really crazy because if you think about how far we've expanded, at first I was just pumping like, it took me like three hours to pump, package, and label like eight ounce bottles. Like I want to say 60 eight ounce bottles. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and we were doing the, the pails. That was yes, 60. and I had to pump it like 12 times just to get it full. So we have our winner, um, and BJ over here telling y'all stuff, but he ain't supposed to be telling y'all like him. Uh, here we go, here we go. But we no, it was cool to get the, the background story. People want to know this. 
Mm -hmm. Tim always be sharing too much. BJ too. Oh, so we have our numbers giveaway winner? Yes, we have our numbers giveaway winner. They're like, no winner yet. Yes, we have a winner, you guys. Yeah, so you can stop writing those numbers. BJ Curls is popping. BJ, your hair looks really good. Um, <laughs> well, I guess, Andre, thank you. You're doing a great job. <laughs> um, Armenta Porter, you are our winner. So congratulations, Armenta Porter. You are our winner. You'll be going home with your very own fragrance-free wash and go system featuring organic sweet almond oil. And, you have, and the correct number was 14. All right, so 14. I out of a hundred numbers, I'm so happy to do whatever you feel free. So I'm glad that we did. But thank you very much, Armenta. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the end of this live. It says this live has ended, and we will get your products and out to you as soon as possible. Sorry, that screenshot to go to info at curlmix.com. I think I missed that on that last part, but send it to info at curlmix.com. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and jump right away into another giveaway since it looks like we're almost in our final stages, right? So we've done our moisturizer, we've done our conditioning, we've added, I'm sorry, we've done our shampoo, our conditioning, and our moisturizing, and now we're adding in that flaxseed gel and we're finishing up the style. So I'm going to start another giveaway, but this next one, um, it'll be really simple. Just tell us why you love Chromix. Whether you used it before or you haven't, just tell us why you love Chromix, either the company or the product, and we'll pick one of our favorite answers to win. All right, and then I also saw, Andre, that now that you're on step four, mm -hmm. how are you kind of focusing on the styling part? Yeah, so I'm going in and making sure to get that product onto the roots. One of the things that we do when we want to get longevity is to get the hair flat. Um, and by flat, I mean we go in and we get the product flat onto the roots so that it's kind of, um, it's not poofy because any part that doesn't have product, that's how it's going to set. And by set, that means when you go into the dryer, it's going to dry with that poofiness. And we don't want that because we want this to last. So this, uh, this kind of like technique that you're using, what is that called? Because it almost... It looks like a bigger, chunkier kind of shingling, but you're doing it in like sections. Is there a technique? No, there's no technique specifically. I mean, because he has this taper all the way around, I'm able to just not have to section except what I'm doing with my hands as I go through. So that's the same thing I do um, on my wash and go, on anybody's wash and go, is go through um, and make parts wherever they're easiest to make and just smooth those roots. So that's all that's happening here. So yeah, before Wash and Go Wednesday, we were talking a bit about um, parting your hair. So when you do your wash and goes at home, do you section, like you part it out, and then do it, or do you just do it all at once? I do it all at once, but if need to, I would section it out to comb it, just so that I make sure I get all of it out. Okay, that's awesome. So we got a few people who are saying, they're telling us why they love chrome it, and they said, I love supporting, um, oops. I lost it, but I'm going to keep reading. <laughs> Sorry. I love Chromix because I can depend on a great outcome every time I use the products. Thank you so much for that. Uh, oh, they're coming in really fast. Nita, she said, y'all make me better. I spent most of my life making my hair. Oops. Now I'm losing, I'm losing all of it. Maybe I'll have Kim uh, read a couple for me because I cannot keep up with them. They're coming in way, way too fast. Oh, dang. I was, okay. I was <laughs> no, you, either. no, I was going to oh. say maybe we can find one and we'll highlight it. <laughs> okay, gotcha. They're coming gotcha. in too fast to read it off the cuff. Normally, I can get like a few of them in real fast, but you guys are really, really excited tonight and I love it. Um, so we're going to make sure we highlight some of the best answers um, as we move on to our final steps of the process, right? So Tisha um, Booth said, I love Chromix because it works. I love going home and doing my family and friends and I love to go up and curls to show them how great their curls can be. All right. And oh, Selene, she said, I love Chromix because the company is black owned. The products are natural. The products feed my curls and the Chromix family is the bomb. Thank you, Selene. Y'all touching, touching our heart. Redmond, you said, I love Chromix because it is easy to use. My hair looks great every day. Um, I used to throw hats on all the time, and I haven't worn a hat since I started using the product. That's crazy. We changed Redmond's whole style. You know, I know everybody knows that person who always wears a hat. They look completely different without a hat. We just changed your life, Redmond. I th that's going to be my giveaway winner, right? So congratulations, Redmond Hunter. You're going to be my winner for the Fragrance Free System giveaway. We're going to read a couple more answers as well. All right. And we're going to pick somebody who's not a top fan. Oh, yeah. So 
Uh, Marina B, she said, I love Chromix because in the last 10 years, Chromix is the only product I've used that worked like it promises to work. All right, and then, let's see, Kim said, Nitsa's was, y'all make me better. I spent most of my life making my hair straight and stealing products from my family. Um, it's not in my budget, sadly, lol, but I've, it's made me so confident. Even just not straightening has made me confident. That is you all, and I am so grateful. I break out using your non-sensitive products because it's that good. Um, I love me more because of you. Thank you for all you do. Nitsa, if you can't get the sensitive, I'm going to give you one. All right, so congratulations, Nitsa. You're our second winner. You can get your very own wash and go system. Don't steal any more for your family. We got you. Congratulations, Nitsa. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the end of this live and send it to info at curlmix.com, right? All you have to do is take a screenshot, send it to info at curlmix.com. So congratulations to our last two winners. We are on the drying phase now for BJ because remember, we always want to try to set the curl. So we set the style at whatever length we want to achieve using the method of heat um, that we think is best, which is indirect heat. So we're not adding like a curling iron. It's not directly onto the hair. We're going to be heating the air around it and then allowing that air to dry our curls so that we don't want to move into the realm of heat damage but still get the desired effect. And we're also going to be doing another giveaway really, really soon. And this one's going to be trivia. So I want you guys to get ready for that trivia. And once you're ready, let me see some hearts. And if I start seeing a lot of hearts, I know you guys are ready and listening because I want to be on top of it for this one. All right. We're going to be doing some November trivia. That's just to get you in the mindset. All the trivia is going to be based on things that have to do with November. And I'm thinking about two. I think we got time for two, right? Let's do it. Two questions, two giveaways, back to back, two trivia questions. Y'all know I love trivia. Um, so get ready and get your Google fingers ready if you don't know them, all right? So let's see what is going on under the hood with BJ and then we'll start that giveaway. All right, so how do you feel? Have you ever used one of these dryers before? No. <laughs> so I've never used one of those dome dryers, but of course I don't have the length that BJ does, but he's getting the full salon experience uh, tonight. So if you guys have um, husbands, friends, sons, uh, uncles, whoever, who are interested in getting their hair right, have them check us out. Curl Mix isn't just for women, it's for all curls. We embrace every curl type, every head of curls, and we want you to embrace them yourself. So love your curls and give Curl Mix a try. All right, so I see all the hearts. Everybody seems like they are ready for the trivia. And just as a quick reminder, you guys will be winning our fragrance free wash and go system. All right, so our very first Trivia question is, the month of November was not always the 11th month of the year. We borrowed November from the Roman calendar where it was originally in what number position? All right, so there are 12 months in a year. What month was November? Don't worry about it. Kim's trying, Kim trying to figure out the answer. It's in the, it's in the document. It's okay. there. All right, so this is a little history, a little social studies. Maybe y'all know it, maybe you don't. But feel free to Google it, and we will take the very first correct answer we see. All right, you want to uh, say something to the people, Kim? I'm going to see if we got Yeah, you going to help us out. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I got the baby in the wrap. He not feeding, so just in case people are like, what is she doing? It, he's just sleeping. I, I don't know if you can see. Yes, Zuri. Y'all, we it's a little chaotic over here. My mom normally watches the kids, and we thought like, oh, okay, well, BJ's hair is shorter. This will be quick. We can just bring them both. We gonna do that next week. Next week, you will have our full attention. <laughs> but I'm gonna read some of the comments. Oh, with people guessing. Yeah. So we already have a winner. Oh. We see. already have a winner. The for, the winner is Karen Smith. Woo! Karen congrats, Smith. Karen. <laughs> Karen Smith, she got it. She was on top of things. She almost said it before I finished the question. 
Karen Smith. So November used to be the ninth month of the year until it got pushed back to the 11th. All right, so congratulations to Karen. You're gonna be taking home your very own fragrance rewash and go system. Let's take a screenshot of the end of this live and send it to us at info at curlmix.com. And if you guys didn't win tonight, don't worry. Just use the code WGWNOV6 and you can get 20% off until midnight. So it's one of the best deals that we offer, okay? So no worries. All right, and then the link's in the description. So just click the link and you'll be all set. So BJ is sitting under the dryer. His hair is, how long, I wonder how long is it? How long? <laughs> he get up on there. Oh uh, yeah, he had a little while. Not that long though, but uh, he got a little while. Okay. Yeah, but I have one more trivia question to do. Oh, you, you sure wanna, do. You yes. want to get that done? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Because this one is close to my heart. Kim actually hasn't seen it yet, so she might trip. But today is a very special day because it is a holiday that celebrates one of Kim's all-time favorite foods. What <laughs> holiday is it? I know my right. favorite food is. It's one of Kim's favorite foods. Okay. It's not the favorite. I think the favorite is potato chips. Like, I was like, chips. Like Zuri. I was like, let me know But it's, it's, not, it's not National <laughs> Potato Chip Day, but this is one of Kim's favorite foods, right? So today is one of those, like, I don't know, they kind of like niche holidays. Um, but I actually thought this was really, really cool. And it already looks like we have a correct answer. Let me get, oh, it's going so fast. Let me go back and check. All right, yeah, we did right away. <laughs> Joan Alex Douglas. Congratulations to Joan Alex Douglas. You are our winner. You'll be going home with your very own. Wait, how did she just know that? Just I don't guessed. even know. What is it? It is National Nacho Day. Ah, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's National Nacho Day. It's so Nacho you... Day. No, I'm kidding. Like, not your day. Never mind. Ah, oh, I tried. You know, jokes are like frogs. They yep. No, when you dissect them. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> Alright, All right, they die. Alright, so <laughs> congratulations to Joan Alex Douglas. You are our winner. It is National Nacho Day, and you'll be going home with your very own uh, wash and go, fragrance wash and go set. Alright, and I am going to check in on Zuri because obviously he wants daddy. Um, we're going to have Kim. Um, Kim's going to do at least one more giveaway. But also, we're gonna check in with BJ and see how his hair is shaping up. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so I wanna read some comments. Do you guys have any questions, things you want us to know? Um, I'll do a quick AMA. We can ask me anything, all right? And then I'll tell y'all a quick little answer. You know, we gotta kill some time while we let his hair dry. <laughs> Somebody did ask the question. Oh, go ahead, Andre. Um, they hate the hooded dryer, and do they have to use one? Um, the answer is not if you don't want to. Um, what, your drying method really depends on what you're trying to achieve in your final result. And so let's say for me, I want to only do my hair once every seven to ten days. I do it on a weekly basis. I'm going to sit under the dryer because I want to get as dry as possible on the outside and throughout the week my hair is going to dry all the way up to the roots. But that's going to give me the most longevity. You don't necessarily have to use that method. It's what works best for you, what's most convenient for you, taking into account your lifestyle. Um, and maybe you don't own a hooded dryer. I get it, like you don't have to go out and buy one just because we're using one here. So do what works best for you and what gets you what you want in your final look. I will say that if you have like a kinkier texture, so BJ's hair is a little finer than mine, um, but if you have hair like mine, I usually use like a blow down method. So I use a handheld dryer uh, because the hooded dryer kind of gives me more of a crisp wash and go and I kind of want like a softer type of feel and so when I use the blow down method with my Dyson it just kind of gets me right okay so I saw a couple questions um what causes flakes so for me I'll get more flakes if I don't use the blow down method but not using enough water that's why I'm something that causes flaking and then someone says how often should you be conditioned or like should you deep condition who needs to deep condition I would love for you to answer that question sure. So, uh, deep conditioning is actually a treatment. That means that you have to assess whether or not your hair needs what is formulated into the deep conditioner. 
And so for example, if you are color treated or if you have fine hair, different things like that, that's something that should be assessed really by a, a specialist so that you don't do something that your hair doesn't need. Excessive amounts of deep conditioning or protein in that uh, can actually make the hair feel kind of brittle. And so yeah, it just depends on what's really going on with your hair. And that's funny because people usually, I don't deep condition. I don't have color tree hair. Um, I wash, I do my washing goes on a weekly basis so my hair stays pretty moisturized. Um, so I'm not really damaging it. You know, so I don't really need to deep condition. Uh, deep conditioning is also another way for a lot of people to sell you products. Um, but you know, nobody wants to tell you that, right? There are like a million things out there, a refresher or this or that. You don't need all of that, okay? Just a simple routine will get you your long, strong hair, okay? So we got another question. Um, okay, so Samantha says, my hair is so short, I can't pineapple it, but uh, when I use the bottom, my curls are flat, and when I wake up in the morning, how can I keep my curls from becoming flat? I would, go ahead, Andre. Yeah, so um, you can't necessarily keep them from becoming flat, but there's, here's something I would recommend. Um, when you get into the shower, there's going to be steam and things like that. That's actually helpful for getting your hair to move a little bit without resetting the entire set as if you were going to shampoo. So I'm going to have Kim come here and I'm going to show you something. If the bonnet takes this and smushes this down and that's how it does my hair, what I'm going to want Kim to do is to come in here and actually pull up and out. And can you see how that's already just coming up a little bit more? Um, and it's set and so you want to do this once it's dry so that you don't get excessive frizz. But if you want a bigger look, something that's not so like tucked in and tight, just go ahead and pull up and out and do a little bit of shaking and you're, that should help. You should be good to go. So, uh, Jaredania says, what do you do throughout the week to keep it looking fresh? Okay, uh, so throughout the week, um, once you set your hair, that's your set. Now, whether you're doing your hair once every seven days or once every three days, all those things depend on your lifestyle, how much time you have to give to your set, um, what your lifestyle is like as far as where you're working, where you're playing, and the things that are getting on your hair, and maybe you need to cleanse it more often. Um, and also the actual essential elements when it comes to uh, how quickly or how long your hair can actually last. And so if you have uh, a silkier texture, a lot of times it doesn't hold super duper long, whereas coarser textures are able to hold and last a little bit longer. And so if you want to refresh, the method where we're pulling out in the morning is actually a good way to kind of let the steam get to it and shake a little bit um, and kind of give it some life back. You're not going to want to go in with your moisturizer or your gel or um, a serum or anything like that because that's just going to contribute to more buildup. Unless you're resetting the hair, a refresh is going to look like, you know, a little bit of shaking and maybe some of the moisture from the air in the shower uh, and then you keep it moving unless you want to do the set all over again. Another good question, and I'm going to answer this one because I have this problem, but it's usually my own doing so that how do you avoid too many single strand knots with wash and goes right so one is you set the hair right so we're setting it with a hooded dryer but you can also use a handheld dryer or you can use a diffuser but not just like letting your hair kind of shrink back up with air drying now if you have a looser texture air drying may not give you um, as much shrinkage and you're totally fine if it kink your hair like me you definitely want to set the hair but two also not waiting a super long time in between your wash and goes right so if your wash and go lasts for five days don't stretch it another week, right? Because you're gonna get those single strand knots once your hair gets dry and it's shrunken back to its original state. So try to make sure you have a consistent schedule. So if I, if I go, so for example, um, I do my hair every Wednesday, but then I went into labor on Tuesday. So I, my hair was about six days old and I was like, dang it, I went to labor. And then I had a baby, so you had a commission for a day. And then I was in the hospital for another two days. And then when I got home, I was too tired to do my hair. So I didn't do my hair until maybe like three or four days ago. So I went almost like 11 days. And I promise you, I wanted to cry in the shower. I was like, what did I do to my hair? I was like, it was so tangled. And my hair is longer. And then I didn't go with my trim. I haven't that's been. I gonna, that's what I was going to pop in. Okay. <laughs> so getting your cuts on a regular basis, what you call a trim is also known as a haircut. But don't, you know, get scared or like, oh, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, a cut can be as little as a fourth to a half of an inch. Um, what you're wanting to do is get, this is the oldest part of the hair. The hair is growing out from the scalp. The oldest part is on the ends. So you have to go in and get them maintenance. And so if there's things that are getting, you know, frayed or raggedy or knotted, um, that's something that you want to make sure you're doing regularly because that can really help with how manageable the hair is and also your shape. Um, another thing with the single strand knots, you're detangling. 
Um, everybody is not used to using a tool. Some people are using uh, wide tooth combs maybe or the fingers or whatever's going on. Make sure you're using what actually works best for your hair. If you have a silkier or lower density hair, you're able to get through with wider teeth and still get that shed hair out. Um, if you have a coarser or a higher density um, or tighter in texture and in diameter or in a pattern rather, um, you're going to want to get through and get all in there to get that shed hair out. Because if you're shedding almost 100 hairs a day or 60 to 100 um, a day, that's a lot of hair between 7 to 10 days of cleansing. Um, now, if you're going every two to three days, you know, it, it might not be as much of a um, priority to detangle with a tool that, that works. But, I mean, yeah, so just keep that in mind, like what works best for you and making sure you're taking care of those ends. Andrew, do you have a Facebook page? Uh, I don't. I, yeah, I don't at the moment. Um, I will be setting one up and connecting it to my Instagram and stuff. I have one. I wasn't really on there a lot, but who, who asked that? Samantha Williams. Samantha, I got you, Samantha. By next week, it will be live. She has an Instagram, though. You yes. can check her out at Andra Renee on Instagram and ask her your questions there as well. Um, so, have you tried the Chromex? Oh, she's tagging someone. Okay, so I'm going to do one more giveaway, and I'm going to do this giveaway after we... Um, I should do two. I'm going to do one now, one to after we uh, show BJ's hair, okay? So, this next giveaway... Um, I'm gonna do, uh, 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 yes, sorry. No, that's the last one, the Chromex t-shirt. Sorry, I'm like a little frazzled. I still got the pregnancy hormones, okay? So give me pregnancy brain and all of that you did. Um, what should I do? Any ideas, Tim, for this uh, final giveaway before the t-shirt giveaway? I'm gonna just do the numbers again. Oh yeah, uh, yes, we have another question. Okay. Um, so, what if you have fine hair and alopecia when it comes to single strand knots? That is really a great question, and if this is for you or someone that you know, um, that's something you need to be working with a stylist on. If you're having complications, that's something they can give you one-on-one -on -one attention to. Because what kind of alopecia are you struggling with, right? Have you got a diagnosis from a dermatologist who specializes in hair loss? And so there's things like that that your actual your stylist would want to know and they're able to touch and feel that hair and work with you to get you the, the best result. Um, and there's one more. Uh, how should you cut your hair? You should cut your hair the way that you wear it 90% of the time. If you're like me and I wear a wash and go 365 days a year, I get my hair cut in its curly state. I'm not blow drying this or straightening this to get it cut. One of the things is the principles and techniques that when it comes to cutting, they can vary because straight hair and curly hair live in different places. So if you get a cut while it's straight and then you want to go to curly, you can't have the bomb shape for both. So if you want to maintenance ends, that's one thing. Um, but yeah, definitely working with someone who is a curly cutting specialist, that's their area, um, if that's what you want to do. And then if you want to wear it straight and you get it cut curly, let's say I want to straighten this, I can do that. I can throw some curls in it and it's not going to be, uh, I'm not going to wear a bone straight, like zero degree blunt kind of uh, style uh, because it's not going to translate completely. But one of the things is when you do wear, get it cut curly um, and wear it straight, you can just curl it a little bit and it'll be fine. The only thing is if you get it cut straight, and try to wear it curly, there can be a lot of issues there because the principles aren't the same for cutting and where the hair lives. And so you want to be able to get that cut the way you wear it the most of the time. All right, you guys. So this last giveaway, this last well, there's two more giveaways, but this giveaway, I just want you to write the code to get 20% off until midnight. Just write that and I'm gonna pick a random, I'm gonna pick two people. So you don't, you don't gotta be the fastest, you don't gotta be the fastest texter in the wild, wild west, okay? All you have to do is write the code and I'm gonna pick two random runners that I see. All right, and then um, Andre, I think BJ's hair is like mostly dry, so we can take it out and show it off. Yes, 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 yes. I'm excited. BJ's hair always looks really cool when he comes to work. I'd be like, all right, little bro, like your hair is popping. Um, you good, BJ? It's good. Let's shake, 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 shake. Come up here and shake in front of people. There you go. So we can see your hair shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then I'm just probably gonna like fluff you out, right? Okay, yep, go ahead. You can stay right there. No, no, stay here. Can you can you reach up there, Andre? Uh, trying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel to you? Don't go through it, just touch it and tell them how it feels to you. Step up a little bit. It feels way softer than usual. Usually, I don't have my hair like this unless I really wet it and like sit there and moisturize it. Um. 
now that I have a uh, now that she's washed it, it doesn't feel as coarse and as like my hair doesn't feel as dry anymore because I can really feel it in my scalp when she started, and I don't feel it as much anymore, really, at all. You gonna turn around for us so we can see the back. All right, can you uh, shape it for us, Andra? Shake it. Uh, sh it looks a little, you know, it's a little flatter. So, let me speak to that. Like, before okay. I so what you see here is flat hair because of how we set it. If you go in and you want to uh, pick it or fluff it a little bit, that's something I would actually wait to do until 24 hours after completely drying. Uh -huh. Because what we're going to do if we do um, go in and kind of fluff this a little bit, that hair is still damp at the roots. And so it's actually going to frizz. Which, if that's your look, that's totally cool. But it's something to be aware of. So because you're doing your hair twice a week about on average, um, it's okay because in a couple of days he's going to redo this set all over. So if he wants it to be a little bit bigger and have a little bit more movement or whatever going on, you can actually go in and just pick up and kind of pull in the opposite direction. And then if you want, you can actually go in, you can step up a little bit, um, with you your fingers close. to the scalp and kind of pull up and move a little bit and pull upward. You're not going all the way through. We're not pulling through straight here. These are curls and you don't want to disrupt the set that much. So just go into those roots and pull just a little bit. And one of the things um, he said, it feels a lot less coarse than it usually does. Um, there's a serious cast on this and I love the gel cast. That's my favorite part of the wash and go. Um, and so what he may be feeling um, is just those products on his hair. And yes, it, it does have a um, hydrated feel to it. So yeah, you just go in, like especially here where it's flat, you go right in there and you pull up a little bit. And just like that, you already got a little bit more height going on, a little bit more fluff. Um, and a little frizz isn't bad, it depends on the look you're going for. So don't be afraid to play with it and things like that. So look in the mirror and tell me what you think. Hey, my curls popping, you know? <laughs> Okay, oh, can, can they see that? I think they BJ, he over here. Look, look, look. Go ahead and do your shake, <laughs> Bitch, Billy. <laughs> oh, BJ, you are so funny. Thank you so much for. Oh, can you do our slow 360 so we can get a full look of your hair? Slow, 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 baby brother. Go, come, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Real slow. All right, and then tilt down just a little bit. So, all of it. More, 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 more. There we go. Boom. Let me see some hearts. Y'all like BJ's hair? Yes, yes. No. Nope. Ah, that looks cool, BJ. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, I found my winners. Thank you, Andra. Yes. BJ's hair looks beautiful, and we finished it on time today, y'all. Okay, so uh, I picked them my two of my winners, Gail Irby and Tony Lewis. You guys are gonna win our full system with our fragrance-free products. Yes, and they're safe for kids too, um, which is why I love fragrance free. It's what I end up using on the babies, right? Um, not this baby because he's brand new and I don't put nothing on him, but <laughs> Zuri is a little bit older, almost two years old. And so we use the fragrance free system on him. Thank you guys for joining. And I want to get to our final giveaway, which is going to be for a Chromex t shirt. And all you have to do um, is start a watch party. And our customer service team is going to go back and find people who just started to watch party. And we're going to select somebody who's in our Chrome Mixer group, okay? That's all you got to do. All you got to do. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining Watching on Wednesday. Um, we appreciate you. We hope you enjoy our first male feature. And ZZ, baby ZZ says, thank you too. All right, you guys. Have a good night, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Oh, my good. Tim wants to show you the hair one more time. Close y'all to close us out. Oh, and I can't forget, you get 20% off until midnight, you guys. If you uh, didn't win tonight, no worries. Just use the code, you'll get 20% off. And if you did win, make sure you screenshot the end of this live that says, oh, this live has ended. <laughs> and you will uh, receive your products in the mail. And make sure you send us your email address and all that jazz. All right, thank you guys. I'm going to do the one last 360 for Billy. One more time. <laughs> Thanks, BJ. All right, you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for thanks for watching.